executive chef, Mark Medina Rios, and he'll be preparing a wild snapper with a mushroom ragu for us. So let's get started. Um, all right, so we have some mushrooms here. First so, thing we need is the base. Uh, and you need to remember when working mushrooms, you need to peel them and wash them very, very thoroughly. Okay. Grow in the earth, very dirty. So I'll show you a couple. What we do is we slide the knife down the mushroom. Don't even need to cut, you literally use the edge of the blade just to peel that skin off. Season the fish up. So what are you, what kind of seasoning is that? But salt and pepper. Okay. Basic salt and pepper. You notice we put some slits in the skin of the snapper. Yeah. It's, a, it's a, the fish, when it's fresh, it loves to curl. Okay. It loves to curl up like that. But we want to keep a nice flat portion. So if you slice the skin, it tends to stay flatter. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put it on a high heat now to get the fish crispy, to get all that water caramelizing out of the skin, going nice and crispy. And then we're going to slide it in the oven to finish it off. We got our mushrooms. We'll chop it to Portobello chanterelles. This is frigola. It's a Sardinian pasta. They make the dough, like a basic semolina dough, like all dry pasta. They roll it into small balls and then they toast it. And dry it. And what we have in here, this is a super de pêche. It's a fish soup that we make in house. We take the bones of the fish we fabricate down. We saute them off. We mix herbs and spices, and fresh tomato, and we cook it all out for several hours. Break it all down. So you have a nice tomato ragu but it's got a great fish kick to it, great fish flavor to it. The snapper is, is a meaty fish. It's very heavy, so we want a nice full flavored garnish to go with it. Uh, you know, the mushrooms give it that woodiness. Frigola sada helps keep everything together, and then the fragrant fish soup is great. It's got like fennel seed and star anise, and it's got this real spicy kick to it. I like people to enjoy themselves. I like people to enjoy themselves. And food is a great medium to do that. You know, everyone has to eat, everyone, not everyone enjoys good food, but a lot of people enjoy good food. Mm -hmm. And I love food myself. I just love to cook and try things and try new ingredients and try new combinations and, and see what other people are doing and see how they're doing it and, you know, watch the trends and just see what happens. Until next week, this is Alex and Anna enjoying our lunch. See you later.